Good day to everyone. Uh, <clears throat> First of all, I would like to greet a safe and sound day to all of us. Uh, I am Engineer Ferdinand Lagait and OFW, a Structural Engineer Equality Manager in Saudi Arabia and uh, since we I found a very important uh, also things that uh, many contractors have to also to be aware and uh, to be um, to learn about cracks now we are dealing with cracks uh, in, in in the construction there are many things happening especially cracks for now I just only uh, focusing on the uh, two types of cracks which are common also in the construction when we are uh, in negligence we are not aware of the road causes we are not aware of the factors of the cracks then it will happen in the in our uh, construction and we will be only uh, uh, surprised when the cracks are already happening. So information and education is very, very important to all of us. For now, uh, we will be, I will, I will only be uh, uh, focusing on the plastic shrinkage cracks. You know? Plaster shrinkage cracks. Actually, there are type of shrinkage cracks. No, there is also a a drying cracks. Uh, we call that uh, hardening cracks or uh, plastic shrinkage cracks and uh, drying shrinkage cracks. I mean, so we will be because focusing on the plastic because yeah, I'm only concentrating on the fresh concrete. We will be, talk we'll be talking about fresh concrete. Because uh, <clears throat> uh, during the uh, when the concrete is is in a plastic state, no, there are many tendencies to happen. Unlike when it's already hard. So there are causes. There are many causes of uh, plastic shrinkage cracks. If we are not aware, there are many. As follow, no. Now, uh, it also happen. It's a very common uh, mistake to the constructors that after the placement, we are not curing, we are not applying the curing, the process, curing process, like uh, watering with with a uh, dumping sheet and burlap. Number two, other uh, other contractors are even neglecting that. Uh, uh, adding water after the after mixing it it's already uh, assuming the uh, concrete is already finished and having batch in the batch plant and it's already in the site and it's, it's ready for pouring with the ready mix contractors are adding water on that on the ready mix so that's one of the causes that's really a uh, disaster number three uh, uh, in the batch plant, it has the it has to be uh, all the mater raw materials shall be covered or uh, shall be in the sheltered or it has covering because uh, especially in Middle East or in the Saudi Arabia or anywhere in the Middle East it's too hot. There are two only climates in the Middle East. No? During the hot weather, it's too hot. So even for 50 degrees, it's, uh, even uh, has been rich. No shelter, sandstorm also is being uh, hit. You know? And uh, in other words, the aggregates are very absorbed, absorbed in moisture when you are not washing it before you put in the batch, in the ready mix. All the, uh, the aggregates, I mean. So that's one of the uh, other, uh, other uh, that's 
some of the root causes. No? Number four, um, your uh, uh, your truck mixer has to be also covered. No? You have to. Uh, I, I know uh, some contractors or even the batch plant owners are neglecting of this. Uh, during the hot uh, weather, your uh, ready mix concrete shall be also covered with dumping. You can cover it with cloth. You can just uh, wrap it around your uh, around the truck mixer, so that you can avoid the uh, uh, heat that will uh, be absorbed by the steel. So that's very important also. And uh, raw materials also, no uh, part of this part of it is uh, is cement. No? So for type three, which is uh, we can describe uh, type 3 as uh, a high heat of uh, hydration. So, meaning to say, uh, during the drying of the concrete, when it's already, it's always being batched in the ready mix, this cement type 3 is too, uh, too, uh, it's so generating heat. So, more absorption has been, uh, taken by the uh, the mix so that's the meaning of heat of hydration so heat of hydration meaning uh, a process of drying when the mix is being uh, being uh, drying up uh, so it is a process of drying when dermatrus is already mixed in the ready mix that's what hydration means and uh, <coughs> Uh, number two, that is also common uh, crack type of cracks is uh, settlement cracks, hmm? and uh, <clears throat> settlement cracks is has uh, many uh, factors. But I, I, I am only mentioning the most common one, very common uh, factors. Now, um, <clears throat> in the settlement cracks. Number one, if your uh, if your structure is at gray, if it is in the ground, factors affecting to it is when you are not compacting properly the grid, the base of the foundations. So uh, when you put the concrete on that surface, on that on that level, on that uh, area, the tendency is due to the gravitational forces of the concrete, the concrete will settle. Because your base, your ground is not compacted, so that's uh, that's uh, the fact. Uh, that's the causes. Number two, if you are uh, if your structures is at at, at uh, elevated, no, like uh, rope slab or wood beams, so any or bridge dicks or any structures which are in the uh, in the elevated one. Mm, the tendency is, uh, for example, uh, usually there is a uh, construction joint, no? expansion joints. So if your uh, forms or there are some disturbance of your concrete after the final seating, final seating has occurred when, uh, during the hot weather is 45 to 1 hour. So when the, when the concrete has been already in the final seating and somebody is disturbing the structure, so there's some there's there's some tendency of uh, separation of splitting of the of the of the concrete to the uh, reinforcement or in the forms. So any disturbance for uh, like for example also the uh, the forms are weak. They are not rigidly uh, supported, so there is some settlement. So you can see the the settlement cracks. There is a separation. Uh, there is a difference, differential uh, settlement. You can see the the picture of the crack is uh, there is a uh, different level of uh, we call that there is a separation. There is a level uh, different level of uh, of the of the surface. The other side is high and the other is lower. So there is a settlement so you can see that one if you can see that such type of cracks that will be a settlement cracks so there are many factors and i'm only 
uh, mentioning the very very common and uh, <clears throat> for now uh, uh, before I uh, go to the next slides uh, by the way uh, there are a description of uh, cracks that I am mentioning her for the shrinkage cracks plastic shrinkage crack you can see it by uh, the behavior is uh, <clears throat> Uh, it's it's a diagonal. No? You can see diagonal uh, cracks, it, mapping cracks. It's not a straight cracks. So you can see it uh, in the next slides and uh, it is being pictured. So it's different with the settlement cracks uh, picture. You can see, you can see it. So and uh, what I mean, uh, I, I, for now I am only using the uh, standard is ECI two two four. And uh, uh, hope uh, you will learn many things about these discussions and uh, very effective to all of us. And uh, here we go. Here we go. Two common types of cracks in concrete. One, plastic shrinkage cracks and settlement cracks. Here we go. Uh, here's the... Uh, Number one uh, type of crack, the plastic uh, shrinkage crack. As you can see, uh, this is different from other type of cracks, of which you can see uh, the uh, the feature is uh, or the behavior of the crack is uh, it's a diagonal. It's uh, it's uh, cracking diagonally and uh, also mapping. So if you can see you can. Uh, you can see our map in the world. You can see the just just this uh, one of the description of the uh, plaster string is crack, and you will see uh, the root causes of that in the next slides. Here we go. Uh, here is the one stand uh, 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 one uh, screenshot taken from the ECI 224 R, which. Uh, we could connect the uh, the uh, many causes of uh, plastic shrinkage crack. In this screenshot, we can see the uh, plastic shrinkage is caused by excessive evaporation due to environmental conditions. Uh, while the concrete is in the while you are pouring the concrete, so uh, in other words, uh, fresh concrete. And the second is uh, there is a differential. Uh, uh, the, uh, there is a uh, different temperatures of the layer of the or the mixed concrete that's going to pour to the substrate or the placement area there's a differential means uh, your concrete is uh, being exposed to the very uh, hot uh, uh, surface no so now one of the causes actually in that case uh, you, that's why uh, it's advised to to dump with the most uh, any water spray on the surface especially on the hot because I, I will be uh, uh, concentrating on the hot weather now because it's all uh, talking about excessive evaporation of uh, uh, of the moisture to, uh, from the concrete now uh, in other words uh, if I will try to expound this uh, particular uh, uh, standard uh, there are many uh, there are many root causes of the plus for the plastic shrinkage cracks. Number one, uh, you you are not or the contractor did not apply the water curing after the final sitting. So final sitting will take place at the four, at forty five or one hour. So that's number one. Number two. Uh, because we are talking about evaporation so means if you did not uh, apply the water curing the moisture of the concrete has been uh, evaporated now number two uh, there's no wind breaks but uh, especially uh, in the in the hot weather there are sunstorm there are uh, humid and uh, in the humid there is a uh, we call that uh, also wind speed those wind speed with a uh, hot weather will uh, really uh, will really uh, 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 I mean they, uh, drain the concrete. The moisture will easily be dried up because of the wind. So we have uh, that's the uh, means. No, you say there's no wind breaks. So either you are pouring on the 
you are pouring on the ground or in the elevated structure you have to apply wind bricks if you are pouring dredge slab you have put you have to put uh, wind bricks in other words you have to put uh, any covering on the sides all, of, all the sides of the pouring area uh, that's why uh, this ECI also re- uh, recommended that if you have a grid slab and there is a wall uh, uh, around it so you have to put to do first the wall so that when you pour the grid slab it has to be covered already with the uh, it is being covered with the with the with the wind now if you are in the top you have the grid slab we have the elevated slab you have to put covering on the side so you have to put tarpaulins with the scaffoldings so that the the essence is uh, the wind will not direct to the concrete and so that the concrete will not be easily dried up now uh, number three uh, now it's very hot or in your uh, we are you are in the hot weather you have to uh, many contractors are also even concreting at the very high at the uh, the known 12 o'clock 11 o'clock uh, 10 o'clock 3 o'clock so uh, this is very uh, disaster also to the contra- concrete because it's too high, uh, especially at 50 degrees, 49 or whatsoever. Starting from 28 up to the uh, the highest one that's already a hot weather, as per the uh, ECI, you know, CI. Now uh, number three, uh, you are using a uh, uh, in and the batch plant. I mean uh, the the raw materials like uh, the sand. The, uh, the uh, water, the uh, admixture shall be uh, on the shelter, shall be covered, or it is properly uh, uh, in the shelter. Raw materials, uh, like for example, aggregates, it will easily, if it's too hot and you're going to put in the concrete, it will uh, absorb uh, water from the mix. So now, uh, there's a, that's why uh, there is a, there's a, in the tendency of your concrete will be easily uh, be dried up because the material that you are going to you are going is be, being put has is very hot so it's absorbed moisture from the mix so that's the essence of uh, absorption that's why raw materials shall be in the shelter protected from the from the direct sunlight and in the other words before the before the raw material will be put in the truck mixer it has to be uh, was so that's why it's also it is also in the ACI and even in the uh, Aramco standard, zero sums ninety seven, and uh, so that's why that's the uh, number four. Number five, uh, uh, the uh, the batch plant owner are neglecting the covering of the truck mixer. They are not covering the truck mixer. So, in other words, the ECI uh, total for event on any ECI related to that is uh, recommending to cover uh, the truck mixer with a cloth, dumping it first, and uh, that's so that uh, the height will not uh, direct to the steel. So that's uh, another uh, causes. Uh, number six uses, and then it's number five. Now, number six. Uh, the na- type number three is not recommended for uh, those uh, areas that you belong. For example, in Middle East, in, uh, in Saudi Arabia, type number three is not recommended to be used because type number three is described as uh, mm, uh, uh, high heat, uh, heat to heat uh, uh, generated, uh, generating for overhydration. So type three is not recommended for uh, uh, for mix for uh, using the hot weather, so that's it, and uh, you will see the root causes of this. I just expound the uh, one standard uh, of the ECI total four. Here we go. Uh, the previous uh, uh, talks that I, I mentioned is about the root causes. Now, the preventive actions of this for the plastic shrinkage cracks is uh, the reverse of that i mean the positive of the root causes will be the preventive actions so that's it uh, here's uh, the second uh, or final uh, type of cracks which is the settlement crack 
And uh, the road cost of this is due to the imp improper compaction of the ground, or the base of the foundation, or the base of the slab, or in other words, there's no proper compaction or the, the density was not made properly. And you will see the next slides for the um, other um, the other type of uh, uh, category of uh, settlement of cracks. Here's the second case of the settlement cracks wall, of which when it was when it was investigated, uh, the 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 wall the wall footing uh, base of the wall footing was not properly compacted. That's why there is a, a settlement cracks. In other words, settlement cracks is only not happening on the concrete. It's also on the wall, on the CHB wall, which uh, related to the uh, wall, which uh, of which the wall, the CHB wall is resting on the concrete footing, which we call that wall footing. And the wall footing was not properly compacted. Uh, the base of the wall footing was not properly compacted. Here's the... Uh, uh, the last item for plastic settlement cracks, which the screenshot screenshot uh, defined uh, what is uh, what is uh, settlement cracks. Uh, in this case, uh, I would like just to uh, uh, I mean uh, compound or uh, expound the uh, standards which is coming from Sair five eight zero three Saudi Aramco Engineering uh, reports. And also in, in collaboration with the, or in conjunction with the ECI Toto 4R. Uh, it's very clear that settlement cracks, especially if it is a fresh concrete, when the, the base are not compacted properly, due to gravitational forces of the behavior of the concrete in nature, when the base is not compact, compacted properly the concrete will settle it will split even to the concrete to the the forms and on even to the reverse so that's why we call that settlement it's splitting or settling and of course if it is settling the forms and the reverse will uh, uh, restrain hold or but uh, due to the forces of the concrete it will uh, split so that's uh, uh, the principle of the settlement of cracks, settlement cracks. In other words, also, when you apply in the elevated structure, when your, uh, uh, when your uh, slab or any bridge or any elevated structure has been uh, disturbed after the final sitting, there will be a, uh, there will be a, a separation or the, the, the concrete will settle. And the formworks will uh, it will be separated from the reverse or the f so that's why uh, there's a settlement. And uh, you can see that one even it will uh, it also it will manifested in the construction joint or expansion joint of any uh, elevated structure like uh, for example bridge or any slab. Uh, you can see the separation or the uh, the settlement of the of the uh, uh, settlement of the concrete. So in the joint you can see there's a uh, differential settlement, differential elevations. The other is uh, higher and the other is lower, so it's there is a settlement of uh, we call that settlement cracks. So now uh, I think I, I I explained very well and uh, hope you will understand the things that we we are uh, explaining here, and uh, you can uh, you can. Uh, Make a comment below in, uh, so that we can uh, we can uh, follow you. We can answer you uh, any comments that you want, so that we can any clarifications that you want. Just uh, make a comment, and we will. Uh, I will uh, uh, answer it. And that's it. And uh, thank you for. And let, let's see. Uh, let's uh, see in the next videos that we have. That I have and that hope uh, you will learn many things from this video. And that's it and thank you for watching.